Hello, welcome back. Today's going to be a video for Lock Picking Paul's one year anniversary appreciation giveaway. Paul's asked us to show off a few tools we've made. Well, I don't make many tools, but here's a few I have made. Got a, got a couple of two or three lever tensioners. One left and one right. Here's an overlifter I made. It's that of a bit of building site Harris fence wire. Well, so I got some some picks to go with them. Just resin together to. Two old pennies. Give them a bit of a bit of a buff up with some four hundred grit. Yeah, a few tensioners there. A few overlifters. A couple of wires. It's another little tensioner thing I made. Also made a few of these out of old keys. It's for curtain curtain locks and a non-curtain one. I've made some nicer ones but I can't seem to find them. Another little invention of mine. Instead of taking the taking the chunk out of there, I took it out the back. Look, I've done this when I first started. Before I had a bottom of the keyway set, so really good for picking in hand. Nice stiff, great little tensioner. That's my favourite tensioner. That is. Here's a pair of curtain lever overlifters. Took me ages to get them made. The red one's quite good. The black one's a tiny bit too tall. Been meaning to make a smaller one. Really fiddly getting them bends on. Of course, the ones you've all seen. That one's in progress. Here's my. This is my favourite one. Is it that one? No, it's not that one. Got a few. All different heights and bends. But because I ain't actually got much tools, I thought I'd do a little demonstration to make up for it. So, yeah, I'll just get my vice out now. Right, so I thought I'd do a little demonstration how I make my how I make all my wires. So what I do first of all put a small ninety on it. Has to be rough for now. Gone a bit over there. The 
This is my top tip. Always had trouble getting getting the, the shallow bend on it. What I do, put in a little bit further than you would. Right now, now you need to decide if you want a left-handed wire or a right-handed wire. The easiest way to do it. Get a lock and imagine the side. So, if I leave a side, I'll bend it this way. If I bolt side, on it that way. That slipped. See, this is the trouble I have putting the bends on, it just slips. So what I do is I just put a massive bend on it. I lay it somewhere flat. Shallow it out a bit. Straighten them up. Right, now I need to know how, how long to make it. So you get your lock you intend to pick. And your tension tool you intend to pick with. Let me just get a pen. You measure down to the bottom of the keyway, take away about two mil. So I just made this leap, this one, just made this one for a new Invincible, one of these Invincibles, but it's just that little bit too long for the old Invincible, when you throw in the bolt it just gets caught up that little bit. So that's, that's about the right size now. Test it. We've got some low levers in here. No, oh, it's not getting me through the low levers. Let me just give that a little. Like that. Bend just that little bit tighter. And of course you've got to you've got to flatten flatten the back and front. Which I'll just do with a Dremel.
Warmer Ender. Give it a quick polish. That's what that is. Give that a quick polish up. There you go. This is your basic picking tip. Well, I'm just going to go and stick a handle on it. Oh, I forgot to mention. Sometimes I just I've got this pair of jewelry pliers. Sometimes I just give it a tiny little nip. Put a tiny bit of a curve on her. Right, I'll we'll be back with that handle. Right, here we go, handles on. Tools all finished. I did just make one for a, for one of the new style in, Invincibles. With a nice, nice shallow bend. But it was a couple of millimetres too big for, for the old style one. Anyway, the proof's in the pudding. Set. There you go. Yeah, not too big. See, with this one, it's too big to throw the bowl. But this, this one. Just right. But there you go. And that's how I make my my curtain pick wires. Well done, Paul, for the year on YouTube. Cheers to another good year. See you later.